Hi, I'm Tom Casper, editor of American Woodworker Magazine. I'd like to show you how to set up a bandsaw for a resawing a really wide piece of wood into two thinner pieces. We're using a very powerful bandsaw. Even though this thing only has 14 inches of capacity, this way it has a three horsepower motor on it. And in general, in resawing, more power is awfully handy. It'll make the cut much better. We're also using a very serious blade in this bandsaw. It has variable space teeth, which means they're not the same distance apart as each other. It's very wide, and the teeth are carbide. All these are extremely helpful for getting a smooth cut. I'm also using a rather unique setup that I kind of devised for resawing, involving two pieces. One is a very tall fence, very simple to make. It's just two boards screwed together with some braces behind it. We're going to be clamping that to the bandsaw table. And then to steady the board as it goes through the cut without tipping or wandering so I can reposition my hands throughout the cut, I'm going to be using kind of the equivalent of a feather board, only this thing doesn't have any feathers on it. It's just a rigid block of wood with a rounded edge on it that goes in the leading edge. And the reason I can use this rather than a feather board or anything else is because my board is already smooth on both sides. And that will also help me make a very smooth cut. So, the first step is to set up the fence and then we'll position the uh, clamping block here as well. So let me get this out of the way. To position the fence we need to set it the correct distance from the blade and also parallel to the miter slot and the blade. And in this case in order to do that, I'm going to be measuring with a combination square so that it's parallel to the outer edge of the table, which is close enough for us. So let me just set the square at the correct distance, which in this case is going to be 7 sixteenths of an inch. And then set the fence fore and aft the same distance away from the edge of the table. Check twice, and then I'll clamp it down. We've clamped the fence down good and solid so it can't move. The next step is to clamp the board in front of the fence to keep the stock from wobbling. In order to do that, I'm going to first place the board up against the fence. And it really helps at this point to have some sort of an adjustable stand that can support the board both on the infeed side of the saw and on the outfeed side of the saw as well. Unfortunately, bandsaw tables really aren't long enough. And even though this is a short board, I still would like support both fore and aft. So we're just going to stand the board up, push it up against the blade almost, and then we're going to clamp the leading edge of this thing, the rounded edge, forward, tight up against the board like this. So the board really is trapped between the fence and the support block. So now I can just push the board right through the cut. Okay, we're ready to make the cut. Our fence is securely clamped in place. We're going to test whether this is in the right place. And uh, we're just about ready to go. The other thing is that I have jointed the bottom edge of this board to be uh, nice and straight and square. So let's test this setup here first before turning this on. I want to be able to push the board into this area without having any kind of wobble in it whatsoever. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's uh, put our hearing protection on. Now I'm going to turn the saw on, turn on a dust collector because resawing makes an awful lot of dust, and we'll start sawing. Okay, here we go.
Step on the brake, blade stops. You probably noticed that I walked around to the other side of the saw in order to pull the board through the cut, and that was to protect these things. It really helped. You can start and stop a saw cut like this uh, without making the blade wander at all when you have a support like this. And pulling the board meant that my fingers weren't approaching the blade as it was cutting. So let's see what we've got here. You never know until you open two boards up what it's going to look like. That's pretty neat for a book match panel or even two slip match panels for two doors. Thanks. Hope you had a good time.